I'm so glad you're back from holiday. It's been lonely without you. Oh, I missed you too. So, how was Yalaheim? Amazing. So much to see. So many stores. And the Jorvik stables were amazing. Bertie and I went riding every day. You're so lucky you got to go. And that you got to bring your horse. I just wish you could have come with me. It would have been way more fun with you there. Well, with school out, we'll have plenty of time to spend together now that you're back in Fairgrove. Speaking of which, we better go get the horses ready for our lesson. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hello, pretty girl. Are you still riding that little pony? Yeah, what's wrong with her? Nothing. I just thought you would have advanced to another horse. She is meant for beginners after all, and she's tiny. Dusty may be small, but she's the best pony at Fairgrove Stables, and Piper promised she would be assigned to me for as long as I wanted. It would be great if you could have your very own horse. I know, but Aunt Lily thinks it's too much trouble. Oh, she thinks everything is too much trouble. Hey guys! Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. I just came to let you know there won't be a lesson today. Piper is sick in bed with the flu. Seriously, we just finished hacking the horses up. Let's go on a trail ride instead. Beats a lesson any day. Good idea. You know, Avery, you should totally learn how to ride one of these days. Yeah, you moved here from Jorvik City a year ago and you still haven't gotten on a horse. Hey, caring for horses on the ground is one thing, but no way will you get me up on one. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen? I could fall and break every bone in my body. Valid point, although very unlikely. I'm fine hanging out with the horses while keeping both my feet firmly planted on the ground. Speaking of which, I have to get back to my chores. I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. Right, let's go. Wow, I've missed riding with you. Same, it feels like forever. Wait, who's that? Oh, that's Chantelle. She's new here. Wow, check out her horse. That's Chantelle's mare, Ruby. I see her training down here almost every day. And on top of that, she gets private lessons from Piper. Fancy horse and private lessons? Jeez, that girl must be loaded. So what's she doing here? What do you mean? Well, Fergrove doesn't exactly have the fanciest stables. We don't even have an arena. We have to use the one at Valedale. Maybe she likes being up in the mountains? It is pretty great out here. Hey, Chantelle! Wow, she's rude too. Maybe she didn't hear me. She's probably concentrating really hard on her riding. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I almost forgot. While you're away, I found a new trail up the mountain. Come on, I'll show you.
Are you sure about this? The path seems quite steep. Yeah, it's fine. Come on, there is a great view up the top. Wow, this is incredible. You can see all of Silverglade. I know, right? Just don't get too close to the edge. How did you even find this place? Dusty and I stumbled upon it one day while we were out exploring. It's my favourite place in all of Jorvik. How can you say that? You haven't even seen all of Jorvik. Well, I can't imagine any place that could be more beautiful than this. That's very true. It is amazing. So, tell me about Jorvik Stables. Oh, it was amazing. They had a huge arena and these really awesome cross-country tracks. But the best part is the forgotten fields. There's this old abandoned farmhouse and fields that stretch for miles. Birdie and I would spend hours riding around there. Sounds so magical. Oh, it really is. And you can ride along the beach as well. And there are tons of places for barbecues and picnics. I'm so jealous that you got to go. I'll have to take you with me if I can next time. It'll be way better with you there. Thanks, but it's unlikely I'll ever have the money to go. Well, one can dream. We'd better start heading back. It'll be getting dark soon. It's only five o'clock. Yeah, but it gets darker earlier as winter gets closer. Oh yeah, let's go then. Did you hear something? Um, no. Okay, I definitely heard it that time. You didn't tell me there were wolves around here. I didn't know. I've never seen or heard any of the other times I've been here. Come on, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Easy, Dusty, it's okay. Alana, we have to go. Come on, Birdie. Come on, Dusty. <coughs> Dusty, no! Addy, 